In this video, we'll show you how to integrate a Rockford Fosgate audio system on a Polaris UTV that's factory equipped with Ride Command and Dynamics. Welcome back. In this video, we'll show you how to make Ride Command your audio source for our Stage 3, 4, and 5 systems. There are other Ride Command harnesses on the market, but ours are engineered specifically to work with Polaris's Dynamic Active Suspension. These Dynamics noise elimination interfaces remove all electronic noise generated when switching the suspension between firm, sport, and comfort modes. This supplementary video is focused on installing the Ride Command harness itself. So please refer to our other videos for step-by-step -step instructions on our stage kits. These can be found on our YouTube channel or our product details pages at rockfordfosgate.com. As you can see, our UTV is prepped and we're ready to install the Ride Command interface. Just like our other installation videos, when removing the upper dash panel, make note where each harness attaches. This will be especially important during the reassembly process. For Stage 3 and Stage 4 kits, we'll be using the RF Pole RC34 interface. Now the RC34 harness is designed to route front and subwoofer output signals from your ride command to the TM400X4 ADM. Now for Stage 5 kits, we'll be using the RF Pole RC5 interface. The RC5 harness is designed to run front, rear, and subwoofer outputs to your TM1000X5 AD. Both these harnesses are compatible with both 5-button and 7-button ride command models. The main difference is the 7-button model features a volume up and volume down button on the faceplate. To get started, take the end of the harness with the ring terminals and up from the inside, route them through the factory grommet to the accessory wiring panel. This terminal strip is just a distribution block, so there's no wiring behind it. With our 10 millimeter nut driver, simply connect the red wire to the accessory terminal and the black wire to the ground terminal. Notice we're not connecting the red wire to the large red terminal that has a constant 12 volts because we need our interface harness to turn on and off with our ignition switch. For stage three and stage four kits that use the RC34 harness, the factory wiring harness labeled AMP1 connects to the AMP1 connector. The factory wiring harness labeled AMP3 connects to the AMP3 connector. For stage five kits that use the RC5 harness, the factory wiring harness labeled AMP1 connects to the AMP1 connector. The factory wiring harness labeled AMP2 connects to the AMP2 connector. And you guessed it, the factory wiring harness labeled AMP3 connects to the AMP3 connector. Now we're ready to connect our interface adapter to the amplifier. For stage three and stage four that use a TM400X4 AD, connect the harness labeled front to the amplifier's front input. Connect the harness labeled sub to the amplifier's rear inputs. Finally, connect the blue turn on wire to the amplifier harness's blue wire. For stage five systems that use a TM1000X5 AD, connect the harness labeled front to the amplifier's front input. Connect the harness labeled rear to the amplifier's rear inputs. And you guessed it again, connect the harness labeled sub to the amplifier's sub inputs. Finally, connect the blue turn on wire to the amplifier harness's blue wire. That's it for the ride command interface. Now, once we're done installing the rest of the stage kit, there's one more thing that you have to do. We need to configure ride command so it properly sends audio output to our amplified system. To make this easy, we provided a free ride command configuration guide that's available in the description of this video and also on the product details pages at rockfordfosgate.com. Hopefully you have a better understanding on how to install our ride command cables. Now, we're going to go ahead and finish up our installation so we can get this back out on the trails. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our technical support. They can be reached Monday through Friday at 1-800-669-9899 or through live chat at the bottom of our website at rockfordfosgate.com. Be sure to check out all of our step-by-step -step installation videos on YouTube. 
Until next time, I'm Eric for Rockford Fosgate. We'll see you again soon.